85 degrees was the high temperature at New Orleans International today. Our average high 79, so well above average. We're going to keep that same pattern going for the rest of the week. Here's a live look outside for you tonight. 75 at the airport now. The wind's a little lighter east at 5 miles per hour, so that lighter flow will also help to bring back that fog potential overnight. Temperatures north of the lake right around 70 degrees, 69 in Bell Chase, 70 degrees in Gulfport. We do have an official dense fog advisory north of the lake, also for areas along along I-55 Metro, not under the advisory, but we do have a chance to see more dense fog into tomorrow morning. We're seeing some fog already showing up down around Bell Chase and Homa, a little bit around I-59 as well. So just keep that in mind. We could end up with these kind of visibilities in the morning, so down to one, two miles potentially at times, not seeing that really improving until 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow. So do keep that in mind for the morning commute. You may have to allow for a little extra time. 60s to around 70 degrees tonight, tomorrow heating back up high temperatures around the mid 80s and just a straight shower chance. So another great afternoon to get outside. Our rain chances stay low through Wednesday. Then Thursday and Friday we start to increase scattered shower and storm potential. We do have a front close by. This is not the front that's going to bring us the rain chances. We have another that will be cruising through the central port of, portion of the country by the latter half of the week. This front stays to our north. It's actually going to lift north as a warm front, which is why we're going to stay on the warm side. Our moisture increase will come in part due to the tropics though. Epsilon is the 26th earliest named system in the Atlantic Basin and that system is headed towards Bermuda likely as a hurricane forecast to become a hurricane by Wednesday and as it travels nearby or just east of Bermuda it's forecast to be a cat one max winds 85 miles per hour then it will continue northeast. It will likely kick up some swell along the eastern seaboard. It's this disturbance here that's over the west central Caribbean Sea producing some locally heavy rain around Cuba that we'll have to watch for increased moisture by the end of the week. We expect it to move towards the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, it'll continue producing rainfall around Cuba, but by Thursday, that's when our rain chances will start to head up as that moisture moves over the Gulf. So here we are tomorrow, straight shower, same deal on Wednesday as well. We push into Thursday, you can see how the moisture starts to gradually increase. What it looks like right now is that a good portion of that rain stays south of us and over Florida. So there's a good chance we'll end up with just about maybe one half of an inch of rain or less. A nice treat coming our way. We have the Orion. It's meteor shower. That's debris left from Comet Halley that will peak Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So the best time to see this will be mainly between midnight and 6 a.m. or so Wednesday doesn't produce a lot of meteors typically, but you could see between 10 and 20 per hour at peak. So something to look out for. Here's your seven day forecast and definitely showing that pattern of above average temperatures to continue through the end of the week. I mentioned a cold front. You're saying where is the cold air. Well, this front won't drop our temperatures down. It will help to reduce the humidity and our rain chances this weekend, which is always great. By next week, the start temperature is still above average 82 on Monday.